that question of, of our other composers here and our other creators. How how much are these stories that in these operas that we've been listening to based on reality? Danny, yeah. uh, why don't you tell us? Um, I think Ilse would have to tell, tell one for me. I, I, I'm not sure. No, Ilse was not based on reality. No, it was his imagination. And she created a family in the Holocaust because the, dealing with the entire six million was a little much. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was actually a true story that Reginald Lord studied. And all the parts with the German guard are sitting in London. Ah, bless his soul, he's not here anymore. Uh, oh, so nice. from the art of Bruce Dalton, who's a survivor and his Eight. wife. Huh? Second the second Emmy Bill. Or a horse. Uh, and he uh, told me, I checked all the dialogue in German, what he put in here that when the German guard Yes, they were here, yeah. I asked him, the writer wrote myself, what did they say? Evil, Evil Sudarsky. And uh, he told me all the things that they said, so that everything the German guards agreed was actually what he remembered yeah. hearing. And I just wanted to say it's not a question, but thank you for doing this. Thank all of you for coming and say that at a time when they deny the Holocaust and our yeah. whole crazy society is going nuts. And nobody's interested in our work. So, how about our work? Red series, but I'll kill that one here. <laughs> Wrap it up. To wrap up. Um, <laughs> thank you all very much for coming. Again, uh, May 13th is the next uh, and last uh, in this series. And uh, it will kind of sum up because uh, Emma Goldman, uh, in the uh, in her dream uh, that she was uh, uh, actually a uh, Judith, predicted the Holocaust. And so we have all those themes coming together uh, on, on May 13th. We also have a, a, a composer named uh, Elaine Fine out in Illinois who's flying in for the occasion. She wrote an opera based on Howard Zinn's play, Emma, which was the inspiration for my uh, musical portrait of Emma Goldman, which has had 51 productions in five countries. Her opera has never been produced. We are going to be doing scenes from it for the first time. She's coming in for that. Okay. So, yes, please. We thank the two singers. I don't know how you all are warming Kale up. Colleen and, and Catherine, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you doing Emma live? Well, one last, last question. Is there a chance of, of, of any of these operas that we've been sampling today uh, being heard anytime again in the near future? Your, part of your opera will be heard on Saturday. Uh, part of it on Saturday. And furthermore, uh, the original performance, uh, they are, um, uh, I don't know, the, the video, they're redoing the video with titles for the first time. And as soon as that's done, okay. I'm planning to viewing here. Oh, okay. And, you know, <laughs> oh, if anyone wants information on uh, when that is, uh, uh, leave a name and we'll let them know. Okay. Dan, any plans for um, uh, we, we the vocal score? The vocal score? The score is done. I'm sending you one. I owe you one. <laughs> <laughs> it's still being engraved. Okay. But uh, any, any plans for uh, excerpts? I have not done that I know of. And David, the television opera was done way back in what? It was 50 years ago. Is there any chance that our seat and now the DVD is finally going to come out uh, in a few months? If everybody wants to get in touch, I'll send you a free copy. One of them will get the royalties anyway. But what about another production? Come to all who wait. There's some people that are. What about another production? I guess so. I don't. I'm just trying to get through each day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad to be here and see all of you doing what you're doing. We are so glad that was the DVD of the original one. I finally got a copy. But as they say in New York, what's the rush? Yeah. <laughs>